All right, time for a quick math tutorial about adding and subtracting integers. In this case, we're looking at just subtracting. Okay, we've already done work with addition of integers, and we have three different strategies we've tried for that. There's the number line, there's the integer chips when you create zero pairs, and then there's also those rules that are on the PDF sheet where you do a different strategy depending if the signs are different or if the signs are the same. Now, in this particular um, situation, we're going to look at subtracting integers. And those other strategies we've used before can work, but they're a little bit more complicated with subtraction. So I'm going to show you right now the easiest, most effective strategy for subtracting integers, and that is adding the opposite. Okay, so we take a straight up math sentence like this. Positive 6, take away negative 4 equals okay you might be able to visualize that in a number line you might be able to use integer chips to model that however sometimes it's easier to just flip the sign and flip the sign of the second number in the math sentence okay in the addition sentence so i'm going to rewrite it now but i'm going to keep the first number exactly the same positive six is not going to change however my subtraction sign is going to become an addition sign now. So I'm taking control here and I'm saying, you know what, subtraction is tricky, so I'm going to stick with adding because it's easier. Sometimes it's okay to take the easy way out. Now, negative 4 is going to change its sign. So when we talk about opposite integers, it means you have the exact same digit, the same number or the same absolute value of 4, but we're changing the sign from a negative to a positive, okay? Now, we can just use the same rules that we used before. So in this case, both numbers have the same sign. And when we have an addition sentence where two numbers have the same sign, we simply add them together. So 6 plus 4, which equals 10. And I'm going to take the sign that those numbers already had, which is positive okay so that's basically it you're just going to add the opposite integer so you change your negative your subtraction to an addition and you change the sign of the second number into the opposite so what if i said positive six take away positive eight all right so this question is almost the same as the one we already did, except the second number this time has a positive sign rather than a negative sign. So I'm going to repeat the same process and rewrite the first number exactly as it is. Okay, so positive 6. But now instead of subtraction, I'm doing addition. And that means I am now going to change the sign of the second number. Okay, and now I'm going to use my integer rules. So it's an addition, and the two numbers have opposite signs. They got different signs. So what I do is I take the larger of the two numbers. In this case, 8 is larger than 6. So I subtract. I do 8, take away 6, which gives me an answer of 2. Okay, and now how do I know what the sign is? Well, whichever one of these numbers is the larger number, take that sign. So in this case, 8 is the larger number, and 8 is negative. Therefore, my answer is going to be negative. So when you're asked to subtract integers like you are in your IXL exercises, this is the best strategy. Try it out. See how it works for you. Hopefully it's awesome. All right, see ya.